Well, today seems to be a everything electronic go wrong day. <laughs> um, I just spent the past 20 minutes trying to get this camera working properly. But the video is not about the camera. It's about my little DJI Phantom Vision Plus 2, or 2 Plus. I can never remember which that is, but uh, some of you, many of you who are watching these videos will recall... I uh, had a little accident recently, um, less than a week ago, and the Phantom fell out of the sky at great altitude and was damaged. And uh, you can see some of the, the damage here. I'll use this pointer. But, I mean, this, this prop is done. That's something that's clearly never going to fly again. This prop is done. Now, these were snapped off. It looks like, I mean, if you look at the back of this, I know this, this phantom fell out of the sky. I know it fell like a stone. And a lot of the damage that I see, uh, you can clearly tell that it just came straight down. These props uh, most likely were not even spinning when uh, it fell. But mostly, <clears throat> then these are easy to replace, and they're, they're not that expensive. As a matter of fact, most people, most places where you can buy the Phantom, they're almost giving these props away. Um, every time you order something, you know, they're throwing in free props. So my guess is usually people don't do that unless there's something new and exciting coming out. Obviously, the Inspire uh, is an entirely new drone, but I'm guessing that someone figured out that there are better propellers out there. And these work just fine. I mean, I have no issues with these whatsoever. Um, I know people are moving to the folding props and it makes it a little bit more convenient, but I'm sticking with these. They're cheap and easy and uh, reliable. So, but if you watched my other video, and I apologize for the camera placement, um, I talked about the major damage on this Phantom, pretty much the only damage other than the props, was the gimbal. And I had the the chance to take the gimbal apart. Um, the camera was detached from the, the drone itself. So the Phantom was lying on the ground upside down. The battery had been injected. <clears throat> the battery works fine, <laughs> which is great because those, um, they used to be expensive, but now they're going down as well. They're about 130 bucks. But this, this portion of the camera had ejected from the actual, the gimbal, and I'm going to pull this apart right now. So it just literally just pulls apart. Um, there's a little magnet in here, and that magnet is kind of controlled by these little magnets. Um, that's basically what is making the the gimbal turn, or the camera um, stationary. You know, that, that controls the movement, and the exact same thing basically exists here. Um, pardon me, I have a cold, so I sound a little stuffed up. But I'm going to remove this. This little ribbon, there's a whole bunch of circuitry running through this ribbon. And I don't know if this is going to even show up in the vid, but this is paper thin. I mean, literally, it is it is so thin. And it's amazing how uh, they're able to print the circuitry on these things. But the ribbon ripped. The ribbon was compromised, it just tore, and I think these are kind of expensive. I, I want to say they're in excess of 150 bucks. Um, now that ribbon just sticks onto the arm and plugs in right here on the, the gimbal housing. Now, when I took this apart, if this shows up in the video, because it, it is kind of dark uh, in here, I don't have good lighting. Um, it's a very, a very gray day outside. But this just plugs right into here. Boom. This arm fits onto the shaft coming out, which again is controlled by another series of magnets up top. And once this arm is uh, is on here, there's a little, uh, I want to say it's uh, a bearing that goes on the end. So it sits kind of like that. And the bearing goes on the end here. And then this entire housing covers it up. 
so it, it allows that camera to rotate left and right and the other portion this portion here allows it the camera to rotate up and down now you can see here here's the portion of the ribbon that's severed I mean there's no hope in fixing that ribbon you're not going to glue it back together you're not going to reattach it um, unless you have like a micro soldering kit even I, I honestly I don't think there's any way to do it but so unquestionably it needs to be replaced but I'm going to show you if anyone else has run into to problems like this this may be helpful hopefully it's kind of why I'm making this but I'm going to turn the phantom on and again this is with the original battery the battery that that was in the Phantom when it came out, and that battery spent um, four days outside, and two of those days it rained. So I don't know that I trust the battery completely, but I'm going to use it at least for now. So this is what I get when I turn the Phantom on. It's trying to acquire GPS satellite, um, so you're going to see those those lights flashing. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but that little shaft is actually spinning right now, and I'm getting two lights. Well, I have a blinking light at the front and blinking light at the back. So the motor's working. Um, I reattached, I had to take these wires off to get the gimbal apart, but I reattached it. So right now it's spinning. My guess, and I'm not an expert, but my guess is that it's doing a di diagnostics right now, because normally, with that housing, this little arm would try to turn left and then try to turn right, and I think it was it was testing the boundaries. Um, why that would be continuously spinning, I don't have a, a, another good explanation for it. But I can actually stop that with my fingers. I've done it before where you just pinch it, apply some pressure to it, and it'll stop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I've already turned on the controller, so I should have... I should have, let's go to Wi-Fi, and I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me that uh, I have a gimbal clamp on there. There we go, there's the Phantom, and obviously there is no gimbal clamp, but that's what it was telling me in the past. And we're connected to the Phantom, so we're going to go back into our DJI app. We're going to go to camera. Obviously, we're not going to see anything. And it is telling us to remove the gimbal clamp. So my guess, and again, this is a guess, is that because that cable is severed, because that little, that little ribbon is severed here, it's not able to receive, it doesn't know that what what the status of the gimbal is and I have a feeling the reason that is spinning is simply because there's power going to it and that's just kind of a default to send power to the gimbal and this crucial little little ribbon kind of gives all the diagnostic info uh, the self-diagnostic info that this should this unit should be receiving um, if I'm wrong then please do correct me uh, send me a comment uh, send me an email, let me know that uh, that I am wrong at, about this, but that's my guess. Um, I fired this up once before, and I'll do it again, this time without the props. Now, I've actually replaced all the propellers on this, and I've flown this unit since the crash. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It It flies perfectly. The only problem is, obviously, right now, it's um, it's not in service for photography or for video. It can only kind of just fly around. But I'm going to shut this down. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's what I hope to accomplish with, uh, with this video was just kind of to show everyone this is what happened. Um, the arm itself... It may not, again, show up in the video, but the arm itself is bent. And um, that is 
I'm guessing is going to be not the easiest fix, but also not the most difficult. It's uh, I'm going to stick it in a vise, heat it up a little bit, and gently um, bend it back into place. I mean, on the scale of things, that's that's not bad at all. But everything else other than that ribbon seems to be uh, intact. And uh, that's where the major impact came uh, came down on the Phantom. I, I'm guessing that, unfortunately, uh, they do make guards, which is kind of cool, for below the Phantom. So in the event that it does come straight down, um, this doesn't happen where that uh, the camera doesn't get damaged and the uh, the gimbal doesn't get screwed up because this is a pretty significant portion of the actual uh, the phantom itself. I mean that's uh, it's almost half the price of uh, might pro actually probably even a little bit more. They're about six and a half or seven hundred and fifty dollars um, at least as I've seen them listed now. And that price obviously is going to go down in the future as they always do, but. Um, so if you can save your gimbal, put that little guard down there, not a bad idea. They also make little ribbon protectors. Uh, all the ribbon protectors I've seen advertised would not have prevented this, where that tear occurred, because the, cam the camera completely came off. I mean, they I don't think they protect the joints, um, the connections uh, here, and I think at the, uh, I think down here as well. Um, so I don't really think that the protectors in my case would have helped, but <laughs> anyway, so ribbon is on order, and uh, if the ribbon fix works, then I will certainly post that video, but for now, uh, that's all I have. So thanks for watching, and by all means, send me comments.